Hey, very fast. 21st day of May, 2018. And I was just sitting down this morning wanting to put on a random video, which I do quite often. I'll just click on the YouTube and see what the trending is. And uh, I see here we have Lucas the Spider. And that just caught my eye. Lucas the Spider is this cute little spider who runs around being cute. Uh, but he's a spider. And there's really not much cute about spiders. But I digress. This is Lucas. That's the first thing I see. Lucas. Interesting. Because... Lucas is in the Bible. So I go to look. How many times and where do we find Lucas as opposed to Luke, which is the same thing, by the way. And this caught my eye, 2 Timothy 4.11, not just because it's 4.11, <laughs> even though that's very interesting, but one of my random Bible verses this morning was 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 3, 5-7, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts ever learning never able to come to the knowledge of the truth so that's one of the verses i came to so i leaned towards to timothy to continue this little little thing that I'm seeing here because that triggered something in my spirit that there was something that I'm supposed to see here that's just kind of how it works with me so I continue on I just I pray on it and I just let it go if I if I can't understand what it is and what I'm supposed to see right away I'll just pray and, the, and you know if he's going to show me more he does and there you have it so that's what I do and I just go to my news. And one of the first articles I see is uh, about this uh, Preakness race. Justify. Remember Justify. Number seven, Kentucky Derby. Very, very interesting stuff here, people. I'm just telling you. He will shoot for the triple crown at Belmont. And what's funny, Justify. Remember how he was number seven in the Kentucky Derby? And you don't get to pick that. You don't pick your your pole position if you know what I mean well he winds up being seven again in the Preakness so seven seven justify and we start to read here trained by Bob Baffert won the Preakness on Saturday capturing the second event in the horse of the racing's triple crown that's important he has won 14 triple crowns seven seven tied for most with D Wayne Lucas <laughs> Seven of those wins at Preakness. Lucas. I mean, I'm just looking at Lucas the Spider, okay? And I get a random Bible verse to Timothy that I pull up because I want to see. 2 Timothy 4.11 is the one it pulled up. Only Luke is with me. But if you read the chapter, this is wild, okay? Let me read. Let me start. I'll start at the beginning. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Full proof. Now, to me, that's more or less the same as justify. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, 
shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Do thy diligence. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 2, Ti 2 Timothy 4.11 Only Luke is with me. All right? So this is what I come upon. Then, okay, this goes on. And I, I, I don't have the time to really go into everything. But this is crazy. This was the second race of the Triple Crown. Right? So we got 14 wins, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Lucas shows up. 7 of the wins. Triple Crown. My spirit says... Go ahead, throw it into the Gematria machine, so I do, and get a load of this. Triple crown. 153. Pretty cool, huh? All from Lucas the Spider. Crazy. And this goes on. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing right now, but you got to just get a load of this. I mean, it's one thing that today is second Shavuot, right? I mean, that's what they call it. And this is for those who are outside of Israel, right? 7 Savan, 21 May, 7, 7, 7, 7. This is what I see, okay? Once again, there's a lot of stuff pointing to today, but if we look back at this, and I'm just led to look at this whole triple crown thing, especially since it's 153, and the last race is held at Belmont Stakes, okay? Belmont, Bell, Bell, the Aramaic form of Baal, Mount, Baal, Mountain, the national god of the Babylonians. The city that Belmont track is in is called Elmont. So you have the Belmont Stakes being held in Elmont, New York. El, as in Elohim, as in a deity, okay? <laughs> you gotta, you can't get, you can't make this stuff up, man. So, I'm just sharing it with you. There is so much going on, man. There is a spiritual war just raging. And I'm telling you, it's about to just appear. <laughs> Everything is about to appear. And you need to be ready. You need Jesus Christ. That's all I'm trying to tell you, okay? The 777, the triple crown, 153, Shavuot. I mean, just all this craziness, you guys. I mean, I have to show it to you. That's pretty nuts right there. And there's a lot more as usual, but, you know, I got I to gotta dish it out kind of slow. Be but I'll tell you what, this is crazy. And you really should, you know, look into this. This, this is all coming to a head. That's, I just know it in my spirit. You know, okay? You know? <laughs> Henceforth there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Righteousness. But you got to be diligent, people. This is the time, more than ever, to be diligent in the word, always in prayer, seeking the Lord's face because the deception of this world, the darkness, and the deceit is just pouring in. And if you're not in the Lord, man, if you are not in Christ, I'm just telling you, you're not going to make it. You're not going to know what to do. I, I just can't say it enough. If you don't know Jesus, please seek him today. He's very friendly. He wants to know you. He's waiting for you to call on him so he can show you the truth. Because that's what he does. He is the truth. So I hope you do that today, okay? There's much more. Hopefully I'll be able to get to this later, but I had to, had to show you this stuff, man. Lucas. <laughs> Lucas the spider. <laughs> no coincidences, folks. The spider. I think I probably already showed you this, but weaving spiders come not here. Bohemian Club. Notice the, the belt, the garter. Remember the order of the garter that we just looked at the other day from uh, the royal wedding, right? The order of the garter. Right on Prince Harry's little hat there that he had. I'm just telling you, man, this is a spiritual war. 
being being played out right in front of our faces but you need christ you need the truth to understand the war you're in that's all that's that's about it i guess hopefully i'll talk to y'all later so there you go i'll try and leave some links i've been getting kind of sloppy on that sorry peace and grace to y'all any fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 